Probability of Combined Events KSSI Mathematics Form 4 Application of Probability of Combined Events Self-Practice 9.4a Page 264 Question 1 A study is carried out on the gender of the children from 16,000 families with two children. Estimate the number of families with at least one son in that study. Method 1 Let's be as son and G as daughter. So the sample space is B1, B2, B1, G1, G1, B1, and G1, G2. Let's A as family with at least one son. So set A is B1, B2, B1, G1, and G1, B1. So the probability of event A is 3 per 4. 3 because there are 3 elements in set A. 4 means there are 4 elements in the sample space. There are 16,000 family. So the estimated number of family with at least one side in the study is 3 per 4 times 16,000 equals 12,000. Method 2. The probability of family with at least one son is equal to 1 minus the probability of family with two daughters. And is equals 1 minus 1 per 4. 1 because is G1, G2. Four because there are four elements in sample space. So the probability is three per four. So three per four times sixteen thousand equals twelve thousand. The probability of family with two daughters can also be calculated as the probability of first child is daughter multiplied by the probability of second child is daughter. The probability of first child is daughter is one per two, and the probability of second child is daughter is also one per two. 2 means there are only 2 genders, son and daughter, 1 for daughter, so the probability is 1 per 4. Question number 2. A box contains 3 yellow pens, 5 red pens, and a black pen. 2 pens are chosen at random from the box. Calculate the probability that both pens chosen are of the same color. So the total pen are 3 plus 5 plus 1 equals 9. Both pens chosen must be same color, so it must be two yellow pens or two red pens. It cannot be two black pens because there is only one black pen. So the probability to get two yellow pens is the probability of get one yellow pen times the probability of get one yellow pen. The probability of get two red pens is the probability of getting one red pen times the probability of getting one red pen. The probability of getting the first yellow pen is 3 per 9 because there are 9 pen and there are 3 yellow pen. After getting the first yellow pen, the remaining pen is 2 yellow pen and the remaining pens are 8 pens. The probability of getting the first red pen is 5 per 9. 9 because there are 9 pens. 5 because there are 5 red pens. After getting the first red pen, there are only 4 red pens. And the remaining pens are 8 pens. So the probability is 13 per 36. Question number 3. Jonathan enjoys watching the sunset on that beach. Jonathan has two options for either going to Pandai Jetty or Pandai Jengau for two days. The probability that it will rain every evening at Pandai Jati is 19 over 25. And the probability that it will rain at Pandai Jengau depends on the previous day. If it does not rain on the previous days, the probability that it will rain in the evening is 5 over 7. If it rains on the previous day, the probability that it will rain in the evening is 2 over 5. If the weather is good on both beach on the previous day, Jonathan departed. Which beach should Jonathan choose so that he can enjoy watching the sunset on the beach for both evenings? Classify your answers. If the weather is good on both beaches on the previous day, so the probability of no rain and probability for both days is 1 minus 19 or 25 times 1 minus 19 or 25 equals 0 0.0576. The probability of no rain in Pandachanka for both days is Question says that if it does not rain on the previous day, the probability that it will rain in the evening is 5 over 7. So if not rain means 2 per 7. So 2 per 7 times 2 per 7 and the probability is 0 0.0816.
so we compare the both probability. So Jonathan should choose Pandan Chunggao because the probability of not reading on both day at Pandan Chunggao is higher. Question number 4. Each customer of Naga shop who spends more than 200 ringgit will be given a chance to spin a lucky wheel that has 6 million sectors. Two of the sectors are red and the rest are yellow. If the pointer of the lucky wheel stops in the red sector, the customer has a chance to choose a cash voucher from box A. If the pointer of lucky wheel stops in the yellow sector, the customer has a chance to choose a cash voucher from box B. The number of cash vouchers in box A and box B are shown in the table above. It is estimated that 450 customers of Naga Shop will spend more than 200 ringgit. Calculate the number of 10 ringgit vouchers the Naga Shop needs to prepare. The selected cash vouchers will be replaced with new vouchers by the shop so that the number of cash vouchers in both boxes remains the same. The probability for the customer to have a chance to choose a cash voucher from box A is 2 over 6. 6 because there are 6 sectors. 2 because there are only 2 red sectors. 450 means the 450 customers. 2 or 6 times 450 will get the total voucher in box A. 5 over 25 is the ratio of 10 ringgit voucher per total voucher. This is the number of 10 ringgit vouchers the Nagao shop need to prepare in box A. After that, we need to find for box B. So the probability to have a chance to choose in box B is 4 over 6. 4 means there are 4 yellow sectors. 6, there are 6 sectors. 20 over 30 is the ratio of 10 ringgit vouchers in box B by the total voucher in box B. This is the total numbers of 10 ringgit vouchers the Naga shops need to prepare in box B. So the total of voucher are 230.